pictures that Randy and I could go through and because of time we can't do it but we've got lots and lots and lots of scriptures and the Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses let every word be established so find your healing scriptures go online type in on Google healing scriptures and find two or three that the Lord shines a light on that you can take and you can think about and get them down on the inside of you because once the Holy Spirit paints a picture of the Word of God on the inside of you now that life it is what gives you the strength to say this is what I've got from the Lord this is mine and nobody can take it from me. Mm -hmm. So it is very important when it comes to healing or any of the other wonderful things that the Lord has promised us, over 8,000 promises in the Bible. Certainly we can find two and we can stand upon them. So it is just really, really important that we believe what we believe because we find it in the scripture. And the more of the scripture we know, the less we're going to be listening to voices and people and news broadcasts and well-meaning people that, you know, there are a lot of voices going on in the earth today. And it is really important that we hear the Father's voice and the voice of a good shepherd is the voice that we listen to not anything else. Yeah. Amen. I mean, it's, it's so important because, like Lisa was saying, we're living in a time where there are lots of opinions floating oh, around. Oh, yeah. Everybody feels strongly about something. And, you know, really, there's nothing that's important aside from what God has said. That's right. I mean, we're supposed to learn what we know from Him. That's right. Not, first of all, forming it ourselves. No and really not from one another. Right. I mean, because my opinion really matters very little in the big picture of things. That's right. You can have an opinion, but it, a wise person bases their opinions on the thoughts of someone that is wiser than they are. Absolutely. And the Lord is the wisest of all the wise. That's correct. So when That's you're coming correct. to the Word of God, you're, you're gaining wisdom right from the source of what wisdom is. That's right. Yeah. So interesting, you know, when you think about the Lord Jesus Christ himself, that might be another way for you to think about him, mm -hmm. is that he's this wise person. Yeah. Everything that he said was wisdom. Itself. You know, because it was always the Holy Spirit speaking through him. That's right. So, yeah. Uh, and that's that's kind of like we can go on and on about that stuff because that's just so relevant. But mm -hmm. let, let's take the, a look at the other example of healing that's in the world today. And this would be healing as an act of grace. This would be another camp of people that believes that healing comes as an act of grace. Now, you might be able to tell the first was what we believe. Yes. The second is a contrary viewpoint. And I'm just going to mention a couple of thoughts <laughs> just to see if you recognize yourself in this. So perhaps you can be corrected from that viewpoint. Amen. The other school holds that God heals by a special act of grace. Not that it's part of the redemption, right. not that you have a legal right to it because of what Jesus has done, mm -hmm. but it's something special that God does for some people. <laughs> they say that only those who are healed who have faith, and that faith is the gift of God, that no man can get faith of his own accord. For healing, God must, in his sovereign grace, give them faith. So God's going to need to give them faith. So in the final analysis, God only heals those to whom he gives faith. Those who don't have faith are not to blame for it because God didn't give it to them. <laughs> that sounds kind of good on the surface. Like the reason that I'm not getting healed is because in order for me to be healed, I've got to have faith and God's the one that gives the faith and I guess he's decided not to give it to me because I'm not getting healed. Yeah. See, that's circular thinking. But... That's not going to work because no. it's God's will for us to be healed. Amen. So, of course, there's something flawed in that way of thinking. That's right. Most of these people hold that disease comes as a judgment from the Lord for disciplinary purposes. I know. 
And if that discipline hasn't wrought the desired effect, mm -hmm. of course God couldn't give them faith for their healing. So bad. That makes God the author of disease. No, never. You know, and again, never. you'll you'll start to get the hang of how to understand and interpret scripture. Mm. If it says, by Jesus' stripes we were healed, how can we say that by the Lord God we are made sick? <laughs> if by Jesus' stripes we were healed. That's right. He can't be in two different directions no, at once. No. It's it's by the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the living will of the Father. That's right. We're made whole. Yes. We're, we're healed. Yes. So it doesn't make sense that God would be punishing you through sickness. Never. When his whole will, which is Jesus, yes. was to make people well. Exactly. That makes God the author of disease? Mm -hmm. No. Never. God is not the author of disease. No. Nope. Disease is actually a perversion of his creation. That's right. Our bodies were made to be whole. Just remember this one simple scripture. It's easy to remember. John 10.10. 10. Yeah. Say it with me. John 10.10. 10. 10. I have come, Jesus said, that you might have life. That's the Greek word zoe, which is absolute life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. The thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So any of those three areas, if you're being killed in your mind, in your thoughts, in your body, in your emotions, if you're being stolen from, if Satan is stealing your identity, your money, your children, your job, your family, anything that you own, that's the thief. If he comes to destroy your property, anything that has to do with your family, your finances, that is always the enemy. So remember, Satan comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly filled to the full till it overflows. It's a very simple way to differentiate between the Father and the devil. He is bad. God is good. It's very simplistic. But the Father never has anything to do with death, disease, destruction, poverty, famine, wars, none of that is ever. I mean, it, for me, it is so unthinkable that people are blaming things on our good father rather than the small g God of this world who was behind death and destruction and fear and anxiety and confusion and torment and depression. See. Satan's behind all all of that it never has anything to do with God so please I beg of you do not blame those things on the Lord he has nothing to do he came to give us life and life more abundantly yeah because you're just ripping yourself off God yeah. can God can take your blame I mean he's a strong person but the point is is that you would be believing a lie. Amen. And if you believe a lie, you're not believing the right thing, so you're not going to reap the benefit of believing correctly. Yes. When we know the truth, Jesus says in John 8, 44, we'll be set free. Mm -hmm. See, we're only in bondage and held captive and in prison and not free because we're believing a lie. But if you can take the truth and replace the lie... Now you're free. Now you're well. Now you're prosperous. Now you're whole. You're whole in your thoughts. You're whole in your actions. You're whole in your body. You're whole in your finances. That is always the will of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, well, what I'd like to do is take a couple of minutes and pray for you guys. Oh, yeah. And then we will wrap up for this evening. Glory. So, let's pray. Amen. We're praying in line with the fact that we know that by Jesus' stripes we were healed. That's so, right. Father, in the name of Jesus, we acknowledge tonight every good thing that's within us because of Christ Jesus. And yes. one of those good things is 
the healing of the Lord Jesus Christ That's that was right. accomplished through his death and resurrection. Yes. So, Father, we want to be healed. Whatever's wrong in our bodies tonight, it can be wrong in our minds as well. But that which is physical about us, mm -hmm. this off, mm -hmm. it's not quite right, or it might be really wrong. Mm -hmm. That's not your will, Father. And we only want your will operational yes, in our life. Yes, Lord. You have crucified and raised yes. Jesus from the dead so that we could be made whole, yes. so that we would be healed. Well, we want that tonight, Lord. Yes. We ask you for that tonight. We ask you for what's been provided for us. We want this sickness, this disease, this operating in our bodies tonight illegally mm -hmm. because of what Jesus has done mm -hmm. to leave our bodies. Yes. In fact, on your behalf, everybody, as an elder Jesus. under the Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. I speak to you sickness right. and disease yes. in the people's bodies, whatever you are, from the top to the bottom and all the way around their bodies, mm -hmm. physically mm -hmm. and mentally. Yeah. Stop what you're doing against their bodies. Stop immediately. Yes. And in the name of Jesus, be removed from their bodies tonight. That's right. Be made whole. Mm. Be replaced sickness and disease with the healing of the Lord. Yes. The relief of the Holy Spirit. Mm. The calm comes into the mind. Calm down, mm. mind, in the mm. name of Jesus. Mm. Be at peace. Yes. Be stabilized. No more fear. No more irrational fear. No. In the name of Jesus, be calm. Yes. Be at peace. Thank you. The joy of the Lord that's in our spirits rise yes. up yeah. and come into our bodies physically. Yes, it's so Not only blessing our minds, but blessing our physical bodies. Right. In the name of Jesus, with strength, yes. the strength of the Lord. That's right. I bless you in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. In the middle of a cursed world, mm. I bless you yes. on behalf of Jesus, who is our strength. And our physical bodies respond yes. to the blessing of the Lord. That's right. Be made whole. Yes. Because it is written by Jesus' stripes, we were healed and made whole. That's right. So thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for healing us tonight. Thank you, thank you that we are made whole. Praise we believe you and we yes. receive it from you. Yes. In Jesus' name, mm -hmm. amen. 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 Maybe you can tell people how they can do their giving for tonight. Yes, guys. So if you are encouraged and would like to donate to our ministry, you can do it in two different ways. One, you can go on to jesuscity.faith and click the word donate. And then, of course, we're also gordonministries.org, and there's also a donate button on there. It goes to the same place, mm -hmm. and that's through PayPal. It's a very secure way to give. You can also text to give, and here's the number. It's 888-508-4830, and text the word give. Great. We appreciate your support. Yes. We'll continue doing this because of it. Yeah. All right, well, guys, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. On Sunday, we're just going to get more in-depth in the prosperity of God. We've been Hallelujah. talking about that. It's so exciting to find out that God wants us to prosper. Amen. I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers, the Scripture says. Yes. That prosperity is for you. That's right. And so it's time that we learn about that and we believe for it and we walk in it in Jesus' name. That's right. All right, so we'll see you on Sunday at 11 Eastern Standard Time. We love you guys. Have a good evening.